We have five schools represented here, so myself from Marcos, we have Mel uh, from Mountain Point, Dan from Desert Vista, we have Brian from Corona, as well as Mike from Tempe High. We had 25 votes total, uh, so we broke that down into five heats of five votes, and we picked the top six fastest votes to enter into the final, and then they race for the finals. We had to go through the entire uh, engineering design process, where they start with a problem or a task, and then they research it, they design it, they make a prototype of it, they do the calculations on size and buoyancy and then they actually build the boat and today was the final step of it where they actually tested the boat well whether or not it floated whether or not it held their passenger how stable it was and the big one is, a, is the buoyancy forces and so what they did is they took the mass of what they thought the boat would be as well as the mass of the paddler in the boat and the surface area the volume that it would raise up on the side of the um, the height on the side of the boat uh, and they took into consideration the the density and the gravitational force and so all together they did the calculations of how big their boat needed to be. The other big thing was the stability. So it, were all the forces balanced when they paddled, did it tip or did it rock? And so it was a combination of both the buoyancy force as well as the balance in that boat. We kind of started off with a rough plan of a trench boat um, and then we like did that and so we had some complications with measurements so we had to re-measure. Um, and then we ended up putting a top on it to keep water out. And I think we did four layers of cardboard overall. Actually, it was eight. Eight layers of cardboard overall. And then towards the end of the race, we actually ended up putting on a little like strip of cardboard at the bottom to help keep it straight on a straighter path because the other ones were veering off. And then same with ours on the, the fourth heat. That's a really big concept in the engineering that they have to fix it and redesign it and tweak it and make sure that it actually works based on their testing and their data that they're using. A big thing we put in was craftsmanship. So people will take their duct tape and they'll just press it on there, they won't care about it. We made sure with every single piece of duct tape we put on, it was put on correctly and without air pockets so no water could get in. I learned about how like, uh, like the construction, how it needs to be the super sound or also like be destroyed. We have some more awards which are the best engineered, regardless of how the outcome was, how did they actually engineer their boat, as well as the most spirited, which is the decorating contest of their actual boat. It's a great way to get some school spirit, it's a great way to get other engineering classes amongst in the district to actually all come together in one big race to show off what they've been able to do and to get together and have some fun while making a final product and testing it.